So everything we've seen so far are examples of diastereomers, and the definition of diastereomer, which I'll probably come back to again after we talk about the other kind of stereoisomer enantiomers, but for now, keep in mind this definition. Same formula in connectivity, different internal distances. So it's the internal dis distance difference between, for instance, those hydroxyls or those methyl groups or those R groups that we saw in uh, the examples we covered today that really make stereo, uh, diastereomers um, really define what diastereomers are. But an interesting point is that some molecules can have the same formula, the same connectivity, and the same internal distances across the board and still be non-superimposable. And to sort of leave you with something to think about for next time that I will hit on uh, next time when we talk about chirality and enantiomers is to look at your two hands. You look at your hands, all of the internal distances within your hands are the same. Right? The pinky is close to the ring finger, is close to the middle finger, is close to the index finger, is close to the thumb, which is always close to the base of the hand. And of course the connectivity is all the same, so the, all of the bones in both of your hands are identical except for the fact that they're mirror images. You know, something like that. And yet your hands are not superimposable. You can't imagine without chopping the thumb off one hand and putting it on the other side, actually overlapping your two hands and perfectly, right? As a result, because they're non-superimposable, and remember that criterion of identity is the two molecules have to be perfectly superimposable. They're non-superimposable even though they have the exact same connectivity, the exact same formula, so we all, you know, both hands are made of the same number of fingers and comp uh, composition, and internal distances are all the same, so the thumb index finger distance is ideally the same, and that distance is the same, that distance, that distance, etc. in both hands, and yet they're non-superimposable, so they must be chemically different. So next time we'll learn about this property of handedness that can be uh, possessed by molecules, as well as your hands, and, uh, and we'll look at enantiomers as a new kind of stereoisomer.